Professor this is Liang Wei Kuang and for our final project we pick up the first topic which is the home credit default risk in this calculal competition we need to make prediction based on given data the background is that many people are suffering from getting loans due to their insufficient or non-existent credit histories and the, the goal is to make a decision based on given data. There are seven different resources of data, and the structure is shown at the, at the left. So our main objective in this case study is to make decisions, and uh, we use the ROC curve as the metric. Due to the definition, when the curve is on the top or at the left, which means the module is better than others. Also, in this problem, there are three constraints. The first one is that it's hard to have a model with high interpretability, especially when it comes to partially important to decide whether someone is a good loan or a defaulter. And the second one is the as for this case study, it's kind of decision making problem, but now some one shot learning problems, so the latent should be ignored, as we may make decision during a period of time. And the third point is that the fault tolerance should be low, as one error could cause high finance losses. At first, we do some basic data processing based on exploratory data analysis, which is known as EDA. We want to find some hidden pattern or relationships based on given data. As for those missing, missing value, an easy way is to delete those data. But at the beginning, we cannot decide if this cheap method is useful or not, so we just keep those columns. And for those outliers with a huge value, we take them as outlier and we limit the span. For example, we limit the entry within a 100 year span. And also, we find some feature having great value and we also ignore them. In training data, we saw there are some XNA value in some rows at some participated features. We delete those entries as we cannot find such category in the testing data. And for those negative values, which cannot be less than zero, we also take them as outliers. One key part in our project is the feature engineering. So to do some deeper data processing, we use several methods in this process. First, we use feature scaling to rearrange the data. And then we use some feature aggregating. The goal is to merge some hyper table with the main table based, based on some key part. For example, based on the current application ID. And uh, we also use categorical features. In this part, we use the one hot encoding for columns. And uh, for some historical paths and the rejection features, we merge them based on the current ID, and we use the same method to deal with the active or closed features, which to decide whether the loan's account is active or closed. And uh, for size features, we calculate the group size based on current ID. Based on some methods, we find that the EST source feature are highly related to the target. From this point, we assume it should be used to distinguish 
defaulters and non-defaulters. Then we merge the hypo, hyper table with the main tables based on current ID. And we also design a filter to help drop some isolated data before applying further measures. In the end of this part, we standardized data through removing the SK ID current from training set and testing set. And then we replaced all the not a valuable value in standardized training set and testing set to zero. So for our implementing the methods, at the beginning, we search for existing method online and we re-implemented them. Two of them are grading-based method. They are logistic regression and a supervisor machine. And another two is creep structure based method. One is the random forest classifier and another one is the astral trees classifier. So the main difference between them is that astral tree focuses on random values for information gain. And uh, compared with some Top level solutions, we found those four basic classifiers didn't have a very good private score or public score. In this case, we use the letter grading boost machine library and the extreme grading boosting library, these two library to dive deeper on grading based method. And uh, in the end, we want to ensembling, en, en, ensemble some methods. In this case, we use these stacking steels. We take our logistic regression, letting grading boost machine classifier and the extreme boost classifier as three basic classifiers with the help of a Bayesian optimizer. We ensemble them in this way, and we get a, a better performance among all methods of before. And uh, this great performance is due to the fact that the stacking method usually requires an amount of diverse and uncorrelated predictions based on all mentioned methods. Our final score could have a private score as 0.79319, which could be ranked as top 30% in the whole competition. But our public score is just above the average. This may due to we didn't implement a lot of other basic classifiers in our stacking, stacking methods. And uh, we also compare with some top place solutions. For example, the first place solution, they prove that feature engineering should be more important than turning and stacking. And uh, for second place solution, they use end-to-end -end CNN and the RN network to get time series feature from tables. And for 10th place solution, they also use feature engineering. And uh, their team includes about 10 people. They also use the AC source features. And uh, one key part is that they use the past several months data separately and aggregated over current ID for aggregations and implemented letter GBM for feature selection. So it's kind of tricky, but it's based on their knowledge in this certain area. So based on all the analysis above, we can make some conclusions. So one part is that feature engineering is more important 
especially during making difficult predict predictions. In this case, having more expert knowledge could be more, could be more important, which means you can dive a deep pattern based on the data set if you have a great, great pre-knowledge. And the second part is for our stacking method, we didn't implement further with more diverse basic classifiers due to time and human source limits. In this, in this case, if we train more different sets of features based on more classi classifiers, we may have better results. That's why we only have a above the average score on our public score. And among all the top 10% solutions, it seems like feature engineering plus end-to-end -end training is a great way to deal with. And end-to-end -end training based on some neural networks, we didn't use this method in our project. And we may try it later if we have as for time. And for the top 10 solutions, it seems like finding important features based on human knowledge could guarantee their gold medal, which, is, which means the pre knowledge is very important when you are doing some data prediction. That's all for our project. Thank you.